What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because we're vlogging. Now why are we vlogging? Pretty much today I have to go pick up a bunch of my graded returns and the place where we pick it up is like an hour away. So I was like, you know what? Might as well make a day out of it and check out a bunch of card shops on the way there. So we're waiting for our friend Alpha. I'm in my room right now, waiting for him to come through. Then when he does come through, we're gonna go together, maybe try to find some cool shops that we've never been to before. Ooh, by the way, check out the sign. Ooh, that looking good. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out a bunch of shops, maybe add some cool stuff to our collection. And yeah, it's just gonna be a road trip vlog pretty much today, just going to different card stores, going to check out new things, and yeah, doing something that I don't think I've really done on the channel before. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. By the way, if you guys haven't gotten the Get Your Game On or any of the Spanko merch, make sure to check it out. Link will be in the description. That's all the plug-in I gotta do. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I guess I'll catch you guys when Alpha gets here. All right, guys, guess who's in the car? Your boy, Alpha. But he's not wearing the Spanko merch. You have, you have merch? Yeah, I'm actually wearing it right now. Where can I find that, man? Uh, I actually don't know the link, but in the description below, there is gonna be a link. I forgot the link thingy. It's Teespring. You don't even know where you can find your own merch. No, no, it's like teespring.creator slash Spanko. Something like that. Link is in the description. Anyways, me and Alpha are gonna be headed to our first card shop. Then we're gonna have a little like detour. Then we're gonna go to more card shops. So, uh, what do you wanna say to them? Alright, we'll catch you guys when we're there. Guys, where's Alpha? There he is. Look where we are. Untouchables Milton. This is our first stop of the day. Let's see what we can find. I'm here for some Pokemon stuff to be honest. Let's get in there. Alright, let's get in there. Alright, so we're back from Untouch and um, I picked up the Celestial. Just need to finish PK, and uh, I didn't want to use my secret rare, so I got a common. But we also got free Pokemon stuff. Pins, bro. We got posters. We even got a car freshener, or I don't know if it's a freshener, but one of those things that you put on cars. That's really it. Well, there wasn't really much in there, but we met a really cool guy. Um, yeah, and we had fun. We had a good conversation. Now, I guess we go just straight to Alice. Yeah. Got to pick up our graded stuff, and then, then the adventure really begins. But we just got to pick that up first. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at Atlas. Atlas. We're literally there like two hours, more than two hours. How long has it been? It's like 3 p.m. Yeah. Like drive, yeah, it was like an hour drive from where we were. I want it so bad. I want it so bad. But do I want to spend $300? Okay, so I'm kind of leaving. I'm not actually leaving. So I really want that Cyber Dark Dragon and it's like 350 bucks. No, $320. Okay, $320. And I don't know if I can put $320 down, but I really, really want it. So I'm gonna go to my cart real quick. And real quick, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to trade in some stuff. Even though I know trading in is not always the best idea, but uh, I definitely should trade in some stuff because I really wanna see if I can find some value. Because to be honest, that would be like a big collection piece to add, like a big piece to add to the collection. Um, just because you don't come around like ulti cyber, ulti first cyber dark dragon too often. And it's a pretty good price. I'm not gonna lie, it's a really good price. Maybe I can try to negotiate a little bit less, but we'll see what happens. You think it's gonna get, you think I'm gonna get my value? Yo, I'm not gonna lie, they took some like high-end shit. Ask Alpha, they took some high-end shit. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff? But a lot of high-end stuff, high so. Stuff. Um I I'll, think, I'll definitely I, I, make the value. You'll definitely take a giant chunk out. Yeah, I'll I'll definitely take the value, but it's more like is it worth? Like, do I want to move, like, for example, like, do I want to move two ulti scapegoats? An actual number is, like, about $200. We're talking Canadian, by the way. Or it would get you, what, like... Like, 100, maybe 50. That's what I mean. Like, do I want to lose that money? The only situation here is that one cyber dirt. It's like you said, you're not going to find it anywhere else, right? I'm not going to find it. I'm not going to find it anywhere else. It's more just, like, I don't know. Is it worth... Because I'm going to be losing out on a lot, you know what I mean? Because, like, my trade binder, like... Guys, they cleaned it out. Like when I say, like this was all full. This was full. You know what's funny is he didn't take any of the hero stuff. Which is weird. Usually the hero ultis have value. I would have rather moved the hero ultis. Like the extra hero ultis I have. Okay, we'll let you guys know what ends up happening. I want to grab some other stuff anyways, but maybe it'll pay for that too. But we'll see. The market helped me. Yeah, so this is stuff like you can keep. Okay. And, you evaluate it, and this would be like the exact percentage. 
I bumped up some cards and then leeway based on the high end spectrum as well. You don't want the tour guide? No, you had enough here. I know, but I'd rather get rid of the tour guide. You gotta get rid of the tour guide? This is exactly for the cyber dark. Yeah. But do I want to move all this for one cyber dark? That's solid trade. A little longer than a few minutes later. I gotta gas you up real quick. Guys, if you ever come to Atlas, a bell, bro. That's the guy. That's the guy. Hooks it up. He hooks it up. No, 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 bro. I gotta gas you up. This guy hooks it up. This guy hooks it up. I'll show you guys later, but this guy hooks it up. Always. I was collectible. Number one. That's my guy, bro. That's my guy. Respect. All right, I'm gonna catch you later. All right, I'm head out. Thank you, bro. You too. I'll hit you up, eh? Anytime. Anytime. That's my guy. All right, Alpha, let's get the hell out of here. Took a little bit longer than we expected. To be honest, I didn't even want to be there that long. But uh, made a deal work. I'm going to show you guys what the deal is. Though. I'm going to show you guys what we got. Actually, yeah, I'm going to show you guys. I, mean, I haven't even told him what the deal was yet. Big you, you don't even know what the deal was yet, huh? It was more of a trade, actually. It was more of a trade, but uh, kind of a purchase. But yo, I, when I tell you, when I tell you... Okay, actually, I want your actual reaction. Okay, well, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Before I tell you guys, literally, Atlas Collectibles in uh, Waterloo, Ontario, if you guys want to check it out, make sure to make sure to talk to that belt. Don't talk to no one else and tell them Spanko or tell them Aladdin sent you, all right? Tell them Aladdin sent you or Spanko sent you. All right. Yo, this messes up my beard, bro. It looks ugly. Okay, let me tell you. So, not only did I get the Cyber Dark ulti first, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got the Logia ulti first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So I didn't show you guys everything we traded in, but he saw what we traded in. Yes. I got these two, and I got 140 store credit. Wait. And I got 100. Okay, bro, this is making my beard look like I got patches. Okay, I ain't bro, got well, patches in my beard, no, no, bro. No, no. You gotta tell them. So how much is the cyber dark? So the cyber dark right now is 250 USD, which is like 330 CAD, but he did it for 300 CAD. Okay. The Lagia is 38 dollars Canadian. And I think we did it for, we did 330 for those. So I got $30 for Logia then. 330 plus 140 credit. So I got four I'm gonna be real. 70 credit overall. He did not think it was gonna get no, no credit. Some of the, there's some cards where I'm like, that's gonna make a giant chunk of it. For sure. Uh, right? Okay, for example, I had two ulti scapegoats. I don't know yeah. if I said that earlier. Two ulti scapegoats, that was like about $200 almost worth. Yeah, but that should still be like a hundred dollars, like more left, right? That you gotta like cover. Not well, actually, he was taking them at wait, he took them at eighty US, at eighty cat each. Uh, so that's one hundred sixty. So one hundred and sixty. So, so you're like halfway there. Yep. Uh, actually, I guess now that I think about it, it makes sense that you reached that amount. But like when I was going through it, I'm like, he did not think I was gonna hit that. Stores don't usually take it. Stores don't usually take a lot. More I'm, for a good percentage. I'm telling you, if you guys go to Atlas, only talk to Abel. Only talk to Abel. He'll hook you up. The fact that I got these, both of them, by the way, originally the deal was just for the Cyberdark. I got both of them and 140 credit. I know you're shocked too. You did not I think know. I was going to do that. No other store in Ontario does this. You did not think I was going to do that. Also, maybe it's just my negotiating skills are good. But I also got my graded stuff in here. So uh, we can open this up on another video. But yeah, because that's, that's the reason we came here. That's the reason we came. But we ended All up getting... the way here. We ended up getting some meat. That's lit. That's lit. All right, we're gonna go to one more store. Two more stores. We're gonna go to, Ch we're gonna go to Chimera here in Waterloo. One more store, Kenzid in, in Smith Saga. And then we'll end the vlog there. You excited? Hell yeah. Well, I'm excited. I'm, ex I'm excited. That's some good shit. <laughs> I'll be honest, me and Alpha have been walking around in circles. Actually, we've been driving around in circles, trying to look for this Chimera games, yeah, this is cool. which we should be right on top of according to maps. But we're, we're not on top of it. And I know this place exists because one of my other friends went to it and that's why I heard about it. And he told me to come here. But I have no idea where we are. This is just a, this is just a Spanko and Alpha adventure. I feel like we're gonna find our way into like an underground dueling place. You know what I mean? This is Oh, yo, you wanna become Zane? <laughs> Get fucking electric chokers? Oh, yeah. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna update you when we find this place because I don't know where the fuck we're going, to be honest. Can I say the F word? I'm gonna bleep that out. What are we looking at? All right, okay. So, we were parked right out there, right? Yes. So apparently... It's right there. It's supposed to be right next door. But it's not. But we didn't see nothing. There's nothing there. Like, look around me, bro. 
Yeah, we have no idea where we are. Look, there's nothing. There's literally nothing where we are. Okay, so, all this being said, me and Alpha are walking out around right now in like minus 15 degrees Celsius weather. But I'm perfectly warm. You know why? Because I'm wearing the Spanko merch. The hottest merch in the game. All I gotta say is this. Spanko told me before we got here. By the way, we walked around this like twice. You know why you're called? Because you're not wearing the Spankle merch. Where can I find that? Uh, I don't have a website still! Link in the description! He said that this store had a big ass sign that tells us... That's what I thought! Let me tell you... This is the big ass sign by the way. And we walked by here like... Three times. No, twice, 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 twice. Alright, <laughs> guess we're going in. Okay, so I'm using my actual phone because my, my vlog kit is charging so I can't use that. But we walked into the Chimera finally! After what, like 10 minutes of walking around looking for it, yep. and there was nothing in there. It looked like they were just starting up, right? Because well, so apparently the store has been open for two years, but this is a new location, and they've only uh, been open for a month, or a month yeah, and a half. Yeah, yeah. It so was nothing, was in, nothing was in order. Yeah, I mean, can't really blame them. It was a very nice, like, spot. Like, the actual location of the building, hard-ass fuck to find. No, the location. Up. Yeah. But the store itself is a good store. Yeah, inside, a lot of open space. Once they set up tables, it's going to look real nice. It almost looks like you could hold like a mini regional in there if you really wanted. It's so, big. It's nice. You could hold one of those uh, those Nebraska regionals for six rounds with 21 people. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Last stop of the night, me and Alpha coming to Kenzin. This is actually our go-to spot now, to be honest. So uh, let's see what we can pick up. All right, so this is the end of the vlog. After a full day, it's what, 8.20? It's been like eight hours. It's been a... Yeah, it has been eight hours. A full day. And a lot of driving. And a lot of driving. A lot of driving. A lot of driving. We got Wait, stuck on the highway. Did you end up showing them what we got from Kenzin? No, we didn't show them what we got from Kenzin. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a review when I get home, but you're leaving soon, so you should probably do a review of what you got. Your boy ended up getting We got a lot of stuff by the way. Like between me and him we got a lot of stuff. We got three triple tack, very meta stuff right here. Uh, I finished off my one last Nadir. Nadir! Nadir! <laughs> Farfa! 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 Far this one. is a tech. This is a tech. This is a tech. Alright. We got... We're investing in three Piri Rays map. This card's gonna be good. This card? It's gonna do something. It's gonna do something. It's gonna do something suiting. And then just... A and then verte. just the Verte that he needed to finish off. So, yep. it was actually a very meta relevant day for Alpha. It was a pretty meta relevant day for me too. I'll go through what I got when we get when we get inside and then I'll actually end the vlog inside. But Alpha's saying bye so we just wanted to show off. Well, I forgot. Bye bye, guys. So, just to give you guys a quick rundown of everything we got today. First things first, we got our graded cards back. There's two cards in here. This is going to be on the Pokemon channel. So, if you guys want to check out the return, make sure to check out the Pokemon channel Spankodex on YouTube. A link will be in the description as always. Let me show you guys some of the Yu Gi Oh stuff we got. So, we got some bangers. First, we got the Celestial, of course, just for meta stuff. You know, I wanted to play PK. I have a secret Celestial in the Yu Gi Oh GX collection, but I didn't want to pull that out of the collection. So, I actually got a common Celestial just to play. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm one of those guys. And we got a Logia, of course. This is actually low right now because Dino is not that great. And if you guys know me, you guys know I love my Dino. So I wanted to get Logia now while it was cheap. So I'm put this to the side as well. And this was, bro, like this, it's so funny. I'm not going to lie to you. It says played. It's definitely not that bad. I'll show it to you guys because I want to show you guys a better look at it. It's not bad at all. There's some whiting, but it's definitely not played. Like no dents, no nothing in it. And I'm going to be honest. One of the main reasons that I picked this up is I don't know if you guys can see but look at that foil shift. You can see it on the attribute, you can see it on the stars. You could even see the foil, I think at this angle, yeah, the foil goes all the way down through halfway on the first edition of the CID IP stamp. So it is kind of like a misprint. Beautiful card right here. And here, I'll show you the back even. Like it's not that bad, like it had this, but again, like that's not even a dent, eh? It's like a scratch. So that's wild, I don't know. The fact that I could get this for a played price, like a moderately played price, and it's definitely not as bad as a moderately played in my opinion. Like obviously it's not near mint, but for the price, oh, a bell hooked this one up. A bell hooked this one up. And then, lastly, this is the meta stuff now that I got. And so I got uh, double TTT, which should be over here. Yeah, I got some Pokemon stuff as well. But we got double TTT over here. Uh, this I just needed. We got double cross out just to finish my playset. I had one, I needed two more. So we got double, double. And then uh, I'll just show you guys the Pokemon stuff we got. I got the Lunchbox promos for celebrations. We got the Mewtwo EX. So actually all we're missing for the celebrations, if you guys follow Pokemon at all, is a Tapu Lele. And that's it. I just wanted to finish up this collection. And then we got a couple shiny cards and that's it. But yeah, the Pokemon stuff I know is not what you guys are here for. This is what I picked up in today's video. Double TTT, double cross out, the CDIP, uh, Cyberdark, the Lagia, as well as the Celestial. It's a good day. It's a good day.
So guys, with that being said, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being here. I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. It was really fun. A bunch of adventures. We did a bunch of stuff. We also got some collector stuff, got some meta stuff. I'm excited, man. I've been loving Yu-Gi-Oh! so much recently. I've been having so much fun with it. This is like the cherry on top. I love it so much. I love making content. I love hanging out with friends and doing Yu-Gi-Oh! I wish I could have played at the locals today. The weather was kind of shit. I'm not gonna lie, the weather was trash. But man, Yu-Gi-Oh! is so fun. I'm having so much fun with it. Hopefully you guys are having just as much fun because I'm love like I just talking about how much I love Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. I don't know, it's a weird thing. But thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. And well, if you did enjoy. There we go. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. But that's Spanko Sad and Peace.